Hi, I'm Macy Bullard. And I'm Anna King. And today we will be exploring Seesaw. It's a digital tool that can improve student engagement and parent collaboration. The first feature of Seesaw that we want to share with you is how to create a new activity. To create a new activity, you're going to click the green plus and you will click assign activity. Once you're in your library, you'll see the feature create new activity. You will add your title, your instructions, and then you're given the option to add any voice instructions, add instructions or an example, and then you can add the template for students to respond to. As you see, I have um, inserted an example. You see I've added my title and instructions. Here you notice this might look a little funny. That is a shortcut. We will put the shortcut in the comments so that you know or have access to all the shortcuts you can use when you're typing in your instructions. I have recorded my instructions as well along with including a template for students to edit. All right, now that you have your activity assigned to your students, you can use the feature that says add page. Students can use this feature to add a page to their already assigned activity, or the teacher can use this page to add more pages to the activity. You can upload videos and do the different tools that you would on any slide. Once a child has uploaded their work into Seesaw, then you as the teacher can go and provide the student with feedback. There are a few ways that you can give this feedback. The, one of the simple ways to get feedback is to leave a written comment. You also can leave a voice comment if you prefer. And then one thing that I like to do is to go and you can edit post. And as you see, this student um, put a wrong answer. So you can circle what they got wrong so that you can show them what they got wrong and what they need to correct. Upload it again. And there's actually a feature when you're given the option to accept or approve or decline the um, post, then you can also send it back as well. To add parent collaboration, you can send your parents a sign up via email or a link to their, e to their phone number. You go to the wrench in the top and you click add families. I can't do it because of the demo, but when you click Add Families, you'll have that option. You also can directly put in their email or phone number and add them that way. So again, that is how you can use Seesaw to improve student engagement and parent collaboration. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other resources.